<clears throat> what is going on, guys? The Rose here, and welcome back to WWE 2K24. This is the My Rise mode. I don't know how much more of this game is left, um, so we might finish it tonight. I don't know. Uh, My Rise for 2K23 took four streams, and this is stream number three for this one, so um, I would think we're almost done. Ugh. Ugh. Worse. Ugh. I go live and I start sneezing. That's great. Real great. Ugh. Ugh. All right. Let's pop this can open, and let's get to it. Oh, you look like you've been in a car accident, champ. Uh, Miz wanted me to extend his deepest sympathies. <laughs> That's not exactly how he phrased it on social media. I can't believe the flowers haven't arrived already. I'll have to put in a call. I just got the hell beaten out of me, Troy, in another one of Miz's traps. You sure you want to be doing this right now? No, no, I am not. Gunther and his lackeys jumped me. I want to show them why I'm the undisputed WWE <laughs> Universal Champion, up close and personal. Then you'll be happy to know that Miz has given you exactly what you want. You'll get your wish when you face Imperium next week in a gauntlet match. Oh, boy. Yep, that means I have to face him one, at, one after another, which means I'm going to have to win essentially, I think, three matches in one. There won't be any traps tonight. The WWE Universal Champion gets his hands on Imperium one by one. You say that like it's good for the champs. Now. It's the Imperium at a gauntlet match. Think he's going to be left by the time he gets to go. The champ has faced down the odds from night one, Corey. That's why they call him the Dark Horse. Big knee buys him some time. Ooh. DDT plants them. Vinci gets that set right back to him. Ooh, devastating kick. Good timing with that reversal. Giovanni looking like he means business right now. I wouldn't want to mess with him. Yeah. Textbook scoop slam. Climbing up top, he's got big plans. Watch out. All right, that was terrible. at this stage but every time you cover your opponent you make them kick out every kick out exerts energy get off me you boom to the body looking to fight his way out <laughs> left by the turnbuckles and he's able to counter oh he got him is he gonna lock this in that's it out. that's it Giovanni looking like he means business right now. I wouldn't want to mess with him. Headed to the top now. What happened? I thought it tapped out. He has a right where he wants Oh, to. whatever. Match continues. That's fine with me. Here we go. Oh, misses the mark. Oh, what a drop kick. He escapes in a nick of time.
corner. Oh, and he's right to the gut with impact. Oh, boom. Oh, hanging off for dear life. Oh. The powerbomb's not meant to be pretty, but here's a cover. Getting the shoulder that right was a two. slow Nothing count. Two at this point has got to say something. Look at this, just stop after stop after stop. You gotta wonder if there's more animosity in this match than we... Look out! Bobby Lane drop! Mamma mia! Cover! There's two! DDT for a kick out! Somehow, some way, he is still in this. Face first with a reverse STO. And Giovanni's resolve might be wavering here. Vinci's not showing any capacity to fight back. He's still got life in this matchup. And Vinci isn't looking helpless anymore. Vinci was being tested and was finally able to get some offense of his own in. Oh, I threw him into the referee. Holy shit. Delivers the leg drops. Real great. Great officiating. As the ref noticed, he was on the ropes. Oh. Leg drop. It's effective. He's going for it all. A little sinking elbow. And he's really gotten into his zone right now. Just producing an onslaught. Two. No. Oh. How does anyone kick out at this point? Oh. And Vinci turning it around. Yeah, he's getting some newly determined focus. Vinci gets that set right back to him. Quick sidestep by Vinci. Oh! Oh, look at this. Neck lock it up. Into a nice takedown. Top rope, putting it all on the line. Oh, my God, what a move. Giovanni Vinci fears no man. Uh-oh. Oh, he's blocking the choke slam. Oh, nope. It's not. left in this gauntlet match. Next into the gauntlet is Ludwig Kaiser. Just look at the WWE Universal Champion. This guy's already hurting and he's only in the second fight of the gauntlet. Of course he's hurting. Vinci wasn't in that first match. Star can that keep Kaiser down? And he goes for the pin! Oh, imagine if that would have worked. Somehow, some way, escapes defeat. Still alive. That was the home run shot that got robbed at the fence. A great uppercut. Oh, the stunner. That was the best one I've ever seen. That might have put the exclamation point on this one. That's all. It's over. He's out. Two down. We've seen twists and turns, but here's our last entrant. The next fall. Dragging off. This isn't who we expected. Where the heck is Gunther? Must be another tactical move by the ring general. I love it. Can the dark horse take down the surprise opponent? What's going on here? Has Ilya Dragunov joined Imperium? He's at least stepped in to replace Gunther tonight in what I, I assume... I thought uh, Dragunov was an Imperium, actually. This game. What better man to recruit than one you've been to war with? Another incredible chess move by the ring general to punish the champ in the... To the sky! From the top! Finds the mark with a leg drop. And Dragunov's resolve might be wavering here. And Dragunov stuck and looking for a solution. Measured up nicely. This drop! <clears throat> oh, here it is, the Dragon Sleeper! The Janami style. Yeah, he broke out of that pretty oh, fast. To find enough grip to fight out of the hole. Crucial escape here. He fends off the attack. Big boat! Oof. Simple but effective leg drop. And he is now in a discouraging spot. Yeah, he has to pull out some form of offense here. Leg drop! Rikishi, oh, 
He blocked his pizza driver. Adrenaline is pumping, and the WWE Universe is on his side. Ooh, clothesline delivery. I have no stamina. I can't even. I can't even reverse moves right now. Oh man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your help. Ilya Dragunov getting all sorts of fired up to deliver. Oh, I had that well scouted. Start counting, Saxton. One, two, three. We could be here four. all day. Power. I think you're right. Oh, oh, no, nice. Count that high, Saxton. Shut up, Corey. This just what a barrage of stops. The proverbial mud hole has been stopped, and now it's time to walk it dry. He wants even more out of his opponent. Boom, running STO plants him. Nicely done. Chop. Into the hip toss. I've seen Saxon thrown out of a few local bars like that before. Oh, please don't remind me, Corey. No respect at all with that action. But it can also be meant to antagonize. Could be a method of luring your opponent into a mistake. He turns it around. What an exploder. Just a perfect mix of pure power and bad intentions. Oh my done. Tombstone. <laughs> is out. That's it. Shoulders down. The ring general's master plan has failed. Hang on. Got their front by with the intercontinental title. And the champ is down. It's time for the age of Imperium. I just got a message from WWE.com. They ran a poll, and the majority of the WWE Universe thinks that it's Gunther's time to rise. Maybe the WWE Universe didn't see me take out two-thirds of Imperium in their hired gun. Or maybe <coughs> it's that the Age of Imperium has such a nice ring to it. Epic. What are they even calling They don't have to say it. They know. Well, good news. After that gauntlet match, Miz decided that this rivalry has had the proper buildup. So you'll be defending the undisputed WWE Universal Championship against Gunther at Night of Champions in a no disqualification match. Let's go. Just like you want. <clears throat> Stacking the deck against me. Must be Friday. I'm calling it now. Tonight is finally the night when we see this fraud of a WWE Universal Championship run come to an end. The champ has So why is Gunther not putting his belt on the line though? Challenge that has come his way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You both sound like broken records protecting this guy. History has proven that the dark horse can overcome. 
Not Gunther. Not tonight. Boom. Oh, what an uppercut. Sorry. And Gunther got turned around there. Wow. Punch him in the chest. No telling what's underneath the ring tonight. And he's gone with the ladder, which is a risky choice no matter how you use it. He's taking this to the floor. I didn't go with any weapon, stupid. Who grabbed the ladder? Bringing a steel chair into play here. Here's the pump handle. Suplex launched. Oh, this this superstar using the rope as a weapon. This is uncalled for. Oh, out right of the chair. It presents itself. You better take it. Come on. There's no place for those types of tactics. I'm sure it's just aggravated the champ even further. Does the official not see him removing the turnbuckle pad? Keep your voice down. Moves outside. What's the plan here? Oh, he's grabbing the weapons out there. That's who's doing it. He'll take things into the ring. Gunther didn't look too comfortable there. If he can hold the line here, he'll be in a good position. Package pile driver. As much grit That's as it not takes who I wanted to see driver, messaging. Cannot forget how much fighting spirit it takes to keep going after taking one. Pile driver. Spirit to fight back. He is looking to do some serious harm. Sleeper slam. Maybe not. Maybe not. And he doesn't let the pin last long at all. He is going to take this match as long and as far as he needs to. Oh, they're both outside the ring. What a counter. Get out. He leaves the ring and there's no count outs in this one. Get his press. You can see that each strike drained their opponent's energy. Boom! Head first. And he's got his hands on the ladder. Only he's setting up outside for some reason. Just ran right into a clothesline. Not the position you want to be in right now. Oh. oh my god. The champ now absorbing a little damage. Gunther beat the respect into him on that one. He switches it back around. Gunther gets stymied. Boom! Gunther's face is starting to look mangled after that. Working his way up the ladder now. This is a critical moment. Boom! Gunther has set his sights on his... Maybe that will shut him up. Lots of potential for injury here at ringside. These superstars better be careful. The floor, the barricades, our table. None of these things are fun to collide with. Get up here. Oh, you can tell he's feeling it now. This fight is pumping him up. Counters that. Everyone needs to get out of the way of this fight. This feels so unsafe. And he throws the opposition back into the ring. Uh oh, he's searching for something. Oh no, now that he has the kendo stick, I definitely do not want to be in his path of destruction. Gunther wants to finish this. What the hell? Driven down with the power bomb. The car is in jeopardy here. Driving the paradigm is shifted. That's, that's impossible. Uh, I can't believe what we just saw. It is just unbelievable. And Gunther's tank has got to be running low, guys. I don't know what his game plan is now. Ooh, a vicious shot right to the dome. Oh! Oh! Every successive move is putting their opponent in a dicey situation. 
Uh oh. Going for the ride. Choke slam. Good night. What a stunner. The champ will stay champ. Two oh, he kicked out Shoko. again. The champion's shock is palpable. The champ will have to dig deeper now. That was a golden opportunity to end things. Now he's got to hope the opportunity presents itself again. Out of the ring. What's his plan here? Yokes up their opponent. Driven down with a sidewalk slam. The champ not in a great place. That attack was a cacophony of catastrophe from Gunther. Clearly hoping something nefarious is beneath the ring. And as a couple of Hall of Famers once said, it's time to get the tables. to go from commentators to participants in this one, fellas. Oh! Gut suplex! A warning and a challenge from Gunther. Oof! He's doing a whole lot of gesturing and it could cost him. Now would be the time for everyone to clear out. Easier said than done. They are not concerned about anyone else's well-being. Look out. Look out below. That's gravity taking a break before coming down like thunder. Look at the velocity into the table. Fight is so close to our announce table. Yeah, I'm just going to step aside now. Hey, wait for me. Oh, he stomped on the crotch. Right to the gut. Toss back into the ring. Great wherewithal on the counter. Close line. Taking it outside the ring now. Tosses him back in now. Oh. And this might not have a pleasant ending. Oh, come on. I thought I'd break out of that. Oh, my goodness. Dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. And Gunther with a critically timed maneuver. This match is reaching a tipping point, and Gunther can feel it. Short arm chopped. We're gonna hang on. Just bouncing that head like a basketball. Clawing the face. Is this necessary? Rip it at the eyes. He catches Guther with a big counter. And he's already taken more hits up there than he should have to handle. Outside the ring now, he has no need to rush. Thrown back in under the ropes. And he slides him back to the mat. Ouch. Simple but effective leg drop. Uh-oh. Dragon Slayer. It's in, it's in. Night, night. It's not embarrassing. Oh, rolls through. Nice escape. Does the official not see him removing the turnbuckle pad? Keep your voice down. Oh man, what a power slam. power slam. Off the turnbuckles. What's he gonna do? Lift off. Misses. And he said, you're not getting me with that this time. And he keeps his focus on an attack to that area. Neck breaker. Very nice. <laughs> Muscles up there. Up oh, 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 oh. Display of stamina. The champ showing they are truly worthy of this title. But things might only get harder from here. And Guther definitely thought that would put him down. I can't imagine he's going to take it easy on him after such a defiant kick out. Oh, and with these knee strikes. Clubbing blow. 
outside the ring now. Hope he's got a plan. Shake the OEC dub as a candlestick is introduced to the proceedings. Ouch. That's one way to get your opponent out of the corner. And Gunther is earned the upper hand here. Gunther's doing whatever he wants because he can. Oh, get up. He's begging him to get up so he can put him back down. Up high. Tremendous drop kick. Was ready for that. Ooh. Oh, the spear! Cover! Two! No, he gets the shoulder up. What do you have to do to put this guy away? Uh-oh, this is not going to end well. Crash landing powerbomb. I know what I have to do. Get his press! And up the turnbuckles we go. I'm stuck. Here's the pump handle. Suplex launched. Big clothesline. And he has free reign to the outside with no countouts to worry about. Goes under the ropes to get back inside. Oh, he gets what he deserves for all that gloating. Yeah, as soon as I go outside the ring to try to get that table, they throw me back in. Medication. And he'll leave the ring for this next stretch. No clue what he hopes to find down there. Oh, what the fuss? Sledgehammer. Better call the paramedics right now. Oh, man. Adding more injury to injury with that hammer. You don't like it, do you? Getting pummeled by that hammer. These are dangerous attacks on their own, but now the damage is exponentially multiplying. And he's got the hardwood in hand, and you have to imagine a sinister plan for what comes next. I can't begin to imagine what he's got planned here, guys. Maybe it's a yard sale. Yeah. And he gets delivered oh, back in come the on. Dude, I want to put him through the table outside the ring. That's all I want to do. All the momentum swinging away from Gunther. Every form of offense Gunther attempts is being neutralized. What? 
We're stuck again. Turning the tables. Be what he needed to ignite a rally. The ladder, set it up. Here's the setup. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. Gunther, just a force of nature to contend with. What? And he heads out of the ring. No countouts, no worries. He's planning something big to finish his opponent. Oh, man. oh of course I knocked the damn ladder over. Getting it in place now, guys. Climbing up, guys. Here we go. Oh, He's heading for high. Gunther seems unable to turn the momentum here. Yeah, somehow Gunther has to turn the tide. Uh, and I'm stuck again. The champ shoulders are down. The referee don't know what to do either. DDT. I'm not going to be happy until I drop this motherfucker through this table. He's doing some dangerous redecorating. Oh. I think the table really ties it all together and responds with a counter of their own. I don't know how much he has left in the tank, but he's got enough for this. This could very well be what decides the match. Come on, come on, come on. Go, 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 go. Oh yeah! That was as insane as it gets. Run out of ringside and back to the mat. Trying to take these two out outside the ring. That didn't work out, did it? Damn. I should have just won the match. Now I gotta do the whole fucking thing over again. 
Tonight is finally the night when we see this fraud of a WWE Universal Championship run come to an end. The champ has stood up against every challenge that has come his way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You both sound like broken records protecting this guy. History has proven that the Dark Horse can overcome. Not Gunther, not tonight. Oh, what a drop kick. He gets out of the way. Big leg drop. What's Gunther putting together? I don't know what they're looking for here. And that was taking the attack to the competition with that one. He is looking to do some serious harm. And he's taking this to the outside now. Perched up top. Oh, just completely off target there. That is what happens when you throw your body around. You eventually meet the pavement. The challenger eating up some damage. Yeah, but he's not breathing heavy yet. Face first. Inverted STO. German suplex. Oh, man, a little extra luster behind that kick. This match is spilled out to the ringside area, and as we can see, tension's really running high now. Uh, yeah, we should probably clear the way, guys. Fast press! Fast press! Yeah. Fast press! And with an onslaught of strikes like that, it's clear they have nothing but punishment on their mind. Can't prepare your face for that. Well, oh, great. Rearranging our ringside furniture here. Clearing the announce desk. What a mess. Guys, they're getting way too close for comfort here. Yeah, I've seen this before, and it doesn't end well. Vicious right for him. Boom, kick. Boom, running STO plants him. Nicely done. Uh-oh. Look at this. Uh -oh. Fall away slam. And there's a fall away slam. A total Wish I could use the ring bell as a weapon. That'd be cool. Rolling around like a giant sack of potatoes. Boom, what impact. Could be some collateral damage on the way here. Everyone needs to clear out, including us. And the damage is just going to keep on coming if you can't find the defense for this. Oh. Oh. So oh. on the chair. Nicely done. Getting dangerously close to our desk. That's it. I'm out of here. And he throws the opposition back into the ring. Clearly looking for that. That's what about the seventh spear hit him with. Is it enough? He's able to kick out before two. He clearly has no intention <laughs> of staying down. Nice drop kick. Ooh. He is looking to do some serious harm. Outside the ring now. He has no need to rush. And did you hear the impact of that? A powerful message just sent to the champion with that move. Oh, uh, gripping the jaw. My goodness. That's insulting. Just getting pummeled as the champion was unable to return fire. Oh, Gunther gets caught with a counter. Go break. Hello. He wasted no time kicking out there. How on earth could he? Muscles up there. Opponent been driven down with Emerald Flungeon. We can have a new champion. What? What, what just? I can't. Uh, agreed, Saxton. Looks like there's no limit to how much damage this superstar can absorb. And Guther definitely thought that would put him down. I can't imagine he's going to take it. Here's table. After such a defiant kick out. Coming back in the ring. him with the counter. Oh, oh what a spear! What a sick thought from that table. He's got a plan for that table, and it does not involve a dinner party. 
Drop suplex. Looking to take flight here. From the top. And finds a counter. He gets back into the ring. Up the ladder goes. Power slam. Good night. Suplex. The challenger being outclassed here. Yeah, this is not good. You don't say, Saxton. He's got devious intentions for sure. That's an understatement. Go on. Go on. Hurry up. Going to the top here, guys. Looking to finish it. No, 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 no. Oh, let's drop it. What the fuck? The table broke for her. Ended in disaster. It landed, but it's still um, like a disaster to me. This is the problem. I can't hit him. <laughs> to the outside. This could get wild. He's taking this to the floor now. The steel chair. Never as innocent as it looks. Yeah, I can't hit him. I glitched I glitched Gunther out. <laughs> I can't hit him with anything. Well, this sucks. <laughs> Good on Bam. I glitched out the match. Now I'm gonna have to start it over. Motherfucker, man. Somebody clip that shit. That's a fucking, uh, that's a clip worthy moment right there. I'm calling it now. Tonight is finally the night when we see this fraud of a WWE. I hit him with a leg drop and the table broke, but he didn't go through the table. Oh, well, that, that, that was something. Not tonight. He hasn't done nearly enough to get the pin yet. Not even a two count for him. Oh, man. Gunther can't find a foothold in this match. Perhaps Gunther needs to go back to the drawing board. He's reaching under the ring for anything useful. And now get the hell out of here. Does the official not see him removing the turnbuckle pad? Keep your voice down. But have a stiff neck for a while. Ooh. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. Challenger's a little worse for wear now. Set him up, Russian leg sweep. He's able to fend off the attack. Oh, and a spear! He's falling victim here to a charge of attacks. This is where his fortitude will be put to the test. Foot was in overdrive there. Taking flight. Timing leg drop. Oh, Jesus. Kicks out. He still has life. How in the world did he kick out? Boom. Simple but effective leg drop. Uh oh. We counted the choke slam? Nope. Did the official not see him removing the turnbuckle pad? Excuse me. Keep your voice down. Giovanni's resolve might be wavering here. Vinci's not showing any capacity to fight back. And gets tossed back into the mat. Oh my gosh, what impact! Emphatically delivered! But champions need to finish this. He's gonna kick out. Yep. What's going on? Gengle Boy. 
the championship needs. You can see the sweat trip out of the challengers every pour. What's the tally on how many times we thought this match was coming to an end? I can't count anymore. Okay, he is not going to let him make a mockery of things. Ooh, bad landing. The challenger is in some big trouble. Holding on by a thread, maybe even less at this point. No, kick out at two. Really had less than a second to stay alive there. But I'm not even going to mess with the weapons anymore in this match because I already glitched it out once. display of near superhuman resilience. After seeing that, it's hard to imagine what it's going to take to keep this competitor down. It is just unbelievable, and Gunther's tank has got to be running low, guys. I don't know what his game plan is now. The champ getting put to the test here. Gunther coming at him with incredible intensity. Taking this outside. This could be good. He's looking to absolutely destroy his opponent with that chair. Oh, I just dropped him right on the stick. All right, I think we're back. Yeah, we're back. All right. Uh, I don't know what the hell is going on with OBS, but this is three. This is two nights in a row that this shit crashed on me. Guther now finding himself on the wrong side of momentum. Guther needs to cause some separation. Crashed on me yesterday, crashed on me now tonight. I just got neck breaker on the fucking chair. The counter on Guther pays off. Unleashed might and force. Face first into the chair. Oh man. Oh, the chair projected right to their face. One wicked attack after another. Ooh, ho, ho. There is nothing but malintent behind each of these attacks. <laughs> Unmitigated demonstration of power. Gunther just can't seem to stop this offense. Gunther is being subjugated to a beatdown. Uh-oh. Oh, he countered. That was he trying to go for. He's got another stick, and he puts it. What's the point? Oh, he had the sledgehammer, and then he puts it this down. Is not going to end well. Oh, fought back with an elbow right to the jaw. Power slam. Again, with the fucking glitches in this match. This match is a fucking mess. No, I can't do anything. I can't do anything now until I get attacked. Setting it up. Thunderous clothesline for the championship. And the pin is broken by the champion. That's smart. Taking the one to catch your breath. And he'll leave the ring for this next stretch. Oh, what a really great swinging neck breaker. I was going for another weapon. Now he's got a table. Taking a big risk here by bringing the table into the action. 
taking this one back to the ring now. He is looking to do some serious harm. Heads out of the ring. What's next? On oh, the friggin' chair. German suplex on the chair. He's setting it up right where he wants it. Another suplex on the chair. Get over here. Boom! Running STO plants him. Nicely done. Yeah. Paying it right back with a reversal. <laughs> Looking to give as good as she's gotten so far in this matchup. The table is set. He's looking to get up that ladder, guys. It's a long way. No! Oh, 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 a huge swing and a miss. The human body's not made to endure a crash like that. Oh, knock the ladder down. Or knock the table down. Oh, yep, yep, and I'm glitched again, and I didn't do a damn thing. He's got him scouted. He's got a plan for that table, and it does not involve a dinner party. There we go. That's about as strange as I get. Redecorating. I think the table really ties it all together. Into the barricade. What are they going to do outside here? That'll do it. Get on that damn table. Get on the table. Putting his opponent in a hazardous position. Whenever furniture gets involved, it's bad. Climbing the ladder now. You gotta wonder what he's thinking here, guys. No, 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 no. You're Again, it happened. An unbelievable gamble from the ladder. A risk yep, again. This is ridiculous. This match is a fucking glitch. Tonight is finally the night when we see this fraud of a WWE Universal Championship run is ridiculous. come to an end. The champ has stood up against every challenge that has come his way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You both sound like broken records protecting this guy. History has proven that the Dark Horse can overcome. Not Gunther, not tonight. And a well-executed move we just saw there. Gunther finding an opening. He saw that one coming. Perhaps looking for some kind of equalizer here. He is looking to do some serious harm. Leg drop. It's effective. Ooh, oh, kick. Nasty kick. Wow, what a leg drop. And Guther looking a little less dignified himself after absorbing that blow. Taking on some offense, but he expected as much. No question after that powerbomb, the champ has a strategy to retain. Yeah, it's gonna beat Gunther's ass. Boom! Connects on the kick! Stop after stop after stop! The champion sending a message, there's no mercy here. You can feel the resentment building with each 
stomp there. He is getting rid of the turnbuckle pad. Don't say that too loud, Saxon. He might get caught. And he has free reign to the outside with no countouts to worry about. Yep. Oh, my God. I thought I broke it. Gunther got surprised there. Fast press! Fast press! Fast yes, press! That was a furious assault from the champion. Each blow coming in harder than the last. With the title on the line, the champ isn't holding anything back. This will turn and your And they're a Kishi driver. driver. We've seen how damaging pile drivers can be, and that one looked particularly painful. Two forces the shoulder up after two. I am in shock. What's it gonna take to keep Oh my the spot. The title's going nowhere. Kiss your dreams. Good night. Pin. Jesus Christ. Here is your winner. And still the undisputed. That match was a glitchy, disgusting mess. Before we introduce our next guest, let's set the stage. Cody Rhodes is still the world heavyweight champion on Raw providing some stability after a tumultuous period that saw several champions come and go. I don't understand why we do these recaps. Our audience watches the product. Nonetheless, I'll play ball. On SmackDown, after continuing to dominate, the dark horse has become the workhorse, now holding the undisputed WWE Universal Championship for three plus years. Didn't Miz and Roman Reigns think the champion stint would only last three days? And now he's approaching Roman's record-setting run. <laughs> Unbelievable. Why don't we ask Miz about that misguided prediction right now? Please welcome our guests, the SmackDown and Raw general managers, The Miz and William Regal. First of all, I take offense to the accusation that I ever doubted my champion. I know how to pick a horse, and in this case, I was behind the dark horse since day no, one. you weren't. That's rubbish. I never wanted him to be champion, and you've done everything in your power to try to put an end to his reign. Don't insult the audience, Mike. They watch the product. That's what I've been saying. You want to do this, Regal? At least I have a cohesive show. No one can keep track of what's going on on Raw. It's like a freaking middle school play. Guys, come on. How do you even know what's happening on your show? You're too busy of filming episodes of your terrible reality show that no one watches. Oh, shit. You just think you're better than me because you've made a living on the myth that you're some kind of technical wrestling genius. Well, I'm here to tell you no one who matters cares. I agree with some of what you said. I am better than you. That's why they made me the general manager of the A show. Okay, maybe we take a break, yeah? No, we're not finished here. You think Raw is the A show? Yes, I do. But we can officially answer that question in the ring at Survivor Series. War Games! Fine, SmackDown will see you and beat you at War Games. You're pathetic. We'll see who's pathetic, mate. Okay, let's get to that break. And now for some war games. Do aerial taxes. I'm more of a uh, high flyer than a submission. 
person anyway. I am absolutely done with that overrated, blubbering British buffoon Regal. He thinks Raw is better than SmackDown? Well, at War Games, the blue brand will reign supreme, especially with you as our team captain leading the way. Hold on. Did you just name me SmackDown's team captain? Yeah, why wouldn't I? You're our champion. You've had the title on lockdown for years now. Yeah, despite everything you've done to try to take it from me. I mean, I assumed you were going to pick anyone but me. Where is this coming from? You sound like Regal. I've been Team Dark Horse since the beginning. No, you haven't! I am shocked you think I feel that way. Whatever, Miz. Who else do you have to round out our side? I got your old BFF Finn Balor on board. You're welcome. And even better, I'm going to let you choose your other two teammates. See? Told you I'm on your side. I still find that hard to believe. So Finn and two other partners of my choice. I'll see what I can come up with. Great. Make sure you choose carefully, though. Since Raw has all champions and an established faction making up three quarters of their team. But no pressure. You got this. Yep, this is the whole fucking choice thing again. Just like in the last game where I had to recruit a whole bunch of people hey, and then make a choice. You uh, interested in joining Team SmackDown for war games? You wish. I actually want to talk to you on behalf of Dominic. What's Dom so afraid of saying to my face? Not afraid. He just doesn't think you deserve his time after he helped you beat Kane with the taser and you never really thanked him after. That's not quite how I remember it. Whatever. I'm not here to argue about the past. I have a proposal. Dominic would be willing to put any ill will aside and join your team for war games if you did something for him in return. What's mommy's boy have in mind? Take out Dom's old man, once and for all, in an ambulance match. Ray's a legend. That's a bit brutal, even by your standards. If you want Dom's services, that's the offer. Take it or leave it. <sighs> Fine. I don't feel great about this, but I need to have any and all options on the table when it comes to selecting my team. I'll do it. You've made the right decision. We'll be watching. Ambulance match, huh? Okay. Whenever an ambulance shows up at ringside, that means a superstar has had one of the worst days of their career. In this match, the ambulance shows up before anything happens. What does the WWE Universal Champ have against Rey Mysterio to have this type of match against him? The longer that championship stays around someone's waist, the more brutal they become. Oh, oh I could jump off the ambulance too, can I? Rey is getting the crowd going. Ouch. Hooked up and Ooh. DDT. How did scouted? He's starting to climb up the ambulance. Get up here. Scaled the ambulance, and now what does he have in mind? He's headed to the roof of the ambulance. My goodness, he's up there. This can only get worse. Big slam. I knew this match could end up anywhere, but I was not expecting them to end up on top of an ambulance. And repeat. I'll do this. <laughs> oh, Launching from the top of that ambulance and landing with insane impact. Oh boy, foreboding message here. Opening those doors. 
tossed into the back of the meat wagon. This is a hell of a struggle. Just trying to close one. So finding the shutting door and escaping the ambulance. And the match continues. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> He's looking for something. This could get dangerous. It's like I always say, he who has the sledgehammer has the last laugh. Escape just in time. And what need is there to go looking under the apron like this? Grabbing a kendo stick. Any connection with flesh will definitely leave a rust. Ray just can't stop this attack. Ray's got to find a way to defend himself. And each of these lethal maneuvers have got to be taking a toll. I want a table. Hello, Shovel. Let me dig your grave for you. And we might be seeing a competitor crumbling before our very eyes. He's rummaging for some sort of equalizer underneath the ring. I guarantee that chair is not going to be used as it was designed for. Look out. Oh. Taking the fight near our announce table. I really hope we get these desks at a discount. No, oh, trying to impale them with that chair. Mysterio fending that off. And that threw a wrench in Mysterio's plan. Well, all things considered, Cole, it's not a bad condition to be in at this point in the match. Oh, strong impact. Vicious right forearm. Great reversal. All the way up for a suplex. No, 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 no. Wiggles free. Into a chop block. What an axe kick. Watch out. They're coming towards the announce desk. What the hell are you doing, Byron? Boom! You've got to wonder if Ray can withstand this. And Mysterio needs to fight back. Hits the drop kick. Start counting, Saxton. One, two, three. We could be here all day. Power. I think you're right. Oh, on the stairs. Suplex. That had to hurt. Looking for something, anything under the ring. A baseball bat? Go to run like that, Clay. This is not going to be good. We might be close to the end. This is a very dangerous situation now. Whoa, not quite yet. Double stop. Arm drag, takedown. And he's pulled the ring apron up, looking under there for something. Is out of the way. Oh, oh man. DDT by Mysterio. Oh man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Catches the kick into a dragon screw leg whip. Tossed into the ambulance. Amazing. Well, this isn't going to win the fall, but it's going to do a lot of damage. Brings his way out. Mysterio with great evasion. Getting an up-close and personal view of their ride out of this arena. What awareness seeing Ray coming. I oh, the counter. And now getting posted up in front of the ambulance doors, just motionless here. Uh, 
Desperately trying to close the first of two doors. Yeah, can they get it done? Halfway there. Hold on. Halfway home now. Just clip. There's no way this is happening. They escaped. Miraculous. Trying to make his way atop the ambulance. A dangerous position to be in. He doesn't have a lot of room up there. I can't emphasize enough how ill-advised this is. I don't know if this is a show of confidence or a wasted opportunity to attack your opponent. He's doing a whole lot of gesturing, and it could cost him. Scaling the side of the ambulance, but why? Perched on top of the ambulance now. He's got something big in mind. Return fire on Ray. Oh my. Oh, oh tombstone on the Fucking I believe on the ambulance. It. Brain Buster. Only so much space to work with up there. One wrong move could have a disastrous ending. No, oh, 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 look out. That was a crushing dive off of the ambulance. How either competitor can move after that is beyond belief. Oh my. Another tombstone. Spiked. And now is the time. Now is his moment. He's got to get him into the ambulance fast if he wants to end this thing. Look at the one door is shut. We could be looking at the end here. Oh, trying to close the second door and win the match. Inches. And they're not ready to let this end. Jesus yet. Christ, right? Still to be had. Saw that one coming. Took advantage. Being dragged and mangled all the way to the back doors of the ambulance. Oh, oh the ambulance door right to the side of the body. Rey Mysterio's in some serious trouble. But Mysterio won't give up, guys. Looking like John Henry swinging the hammer like that. Any one of these attacks could cause irreparable damage, but I don't think you can come back from this many. Double leg drop. And his torso continues to be targeted. That could be disrupting the flow of air at this point. And launched into the back of the ambulance. That's not where this super... Trying to... At least... First door shot. Needs one more. Pushing with every fiber of their being to slam the door. I can't believe they're going to win this. They're going to win it. Come on. Almost. Got it. Holy cow. I can't believe they won. What a match. Here is your winner. Then he's going to celebrate on top of the ambulance. The Rose. Nobody can keep the WWE Universal Champion down. The right man. I'm going to get right to the point. You need me for war games. Okay, I'll cut to the chase too. I'm 3 0 against you. So, what makes you think you're worthy of being part of Team SmackDown? Damn. I've been in two war games matches, which is two more than your zero. And Finn. He's never been in one either. You need my experience. In fact, you guys should be begging me to join your team. I don't know about all that. 
And even if I did want you on our team, I don't think there's any way I could trust you. You don't need to trust me. I'll be your hired gun. You tell me who to take out, and I'll get the job done. I'll think about it. No, I meant that literally. Tell me who to take out, and I'll go do it. I shouldn't have to, but if it proves you need me for war games, then I will. Okay, fine. But I want you to do this in an actual match, not attacking someone from behind, like you usually do. Whatever. Just name an opponent. Go try to beat Damien Priest. Then we'll talk. Done. So I gotta use Kevin Owens now and beat Damien Priest? So I just set myself up for a match with Priest. Yep. Kevin Owens always has a malicious look in his eye, but tonight I'm seeing an extra... And I know that, I would've just used Drew Gulak. There are rumors that the WWE Universal Champion is looking at Kevin Owens for a possible War Games partner. Kevin is out to prove himself as one of SmackDown's best weapons against Raw. Bro, KO didn't do himself any favors when he picked this opponent. He's got a tough hill to climb to prove himself here tonight. Ah, look at this. So much damage inflicted. And Priest is being controlled here. He just turned this into the KO show. Ah. Yeah. Okay, he's re-entering the ring. Silver kick! Fails to connect on the springboard. And there was some force on that move. DDT! Oh my goodness, putting the boots to an opponent will take the fight out of them in a hurry. Jarring impact. He moved, but can he capitalize? Ah, oh, right in the mat, face first. That certainly wasn't pretty. Oh, just turn that around. He got whipped into that corner. Lands an elbow. Clear the deck. There's a cannonball coming through. Completely steamrolled. Oh, Pops up power bomb. Pop up power bomb. Owens showing just how little he cares. Uh oh. Stunner. And Owens might just have this. That's gotta be it. Two. Fucking destroyed him. I don't even think he, he got like one move on me. Grayson, shouldn't you be down in NXT losing title matches? <laughs> Hilarious. But full disclosure, the Grayson War effect has lost some momentum ever since you lost in NXT and caught me off guard. That's one way to describe it, but why are you here? First of all, the biggest box office superstar can go wherever he wants. But I'm here because I have the perfect way to rejuvenate my career. I waltz in the SmackDown and beat the WWE Universal Champion. For someone who just admitted they've been on a cold streak, I don't see that happening. Besides, I already beat you twice. Actually, more than twice since our rematch was an Iron Man. But you never once put your WWE Universal Championship on the line in our matches while I risked the NXT title. It's only fair if you give me a chance at your gold now. I'm not sure you understand the meaning of fair, but what's in it for me? I heard you're looking to fill out your side for Survivor Series, and who better to team with than a former War Games winner like myself? Of course, Miz would probably make me team captain once I'm WWE Universal Champion, but we'll worry about those details later. Ah, fine. 
I'll give you a title opportunity in exchange for considering you as a teammate. But don't back out when I beat you again. Good on ya. And same goes for you when I'm the champ. But again, we'll worry about those details later. Yeah, because then it's gonna happen. These two are no strangers to each other. In fact, if they didn't constantly beat the hell out of each other, I'd say they might even be friends. Grayson Waller doesn't have many friends. That man is made of pure ambition. Well, he is a smart guy then. He's either going to walk out with the WWE Universal Championship, or if rumors are true, the chance to be on a War Games team. I don't think people realize the amount of strength it takes to hurl someone like that. Super kick! Ow. Oh, ouch! He eludes the contact. shoulders down he's really trying to rush this match the challenger's looking shaken no need to panic he's still swinging pile driver spiked him and you don't just do something like that to win a match you do that to inflict punishment delivers the leg drop oh my goodness thunder and lightning raining down on the challenger here STO face first. <laughs> Suplex brings him down. Grayson falling victim to a surge of attacks here. Grayson. A little heat sinking elbow. Goes into the pin. There's two. He narrowly avoids the count. Wow. Boom. Oh, what? Kick. Expected that one. Oh shit, he caught me. Hey, it's a fucking rope break, you dickhead. I was in the ropes when he got me down. Grayson Waller is fired up and ready to go. You want to get, you wanna be up there? Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. I hit him with a brain buster though, fine. You want to be up there? All right, we'll go up there. Placing them right where they want them into the corner. What is this competitor planning now? Yeah, you like oh, to be up here, yeah? Looking for a super plex. Oh man, and not done yet. There's more to come. Falcon Arrow. The champ is clearly going to take all measures necessary to keep the gold around their waist. Couldn't quite slam the door yet. Larian. The challenger is in some big trouble. He needs to get himself some room to regroup fast. Slam! Grayson is in big jeopardy here. You finished, buddy. Oh, he countered the Stone Cold Stunner. No motion on the counter. A steady stream of moves taking that ball. Waller's got to find a window to fight back. Fly. The daredevil in you comes out when you take risks like that. Bringing out that candlestick means he is truly willing to go to the extreme. Waller playing to the crowd, trying to get him fired up. Get the hell out of here. Count doesn't even begin. How did he do that? Spare! Looking for the victory. There's two. That's it. The champ stays the champ. Here is your winner. And still the undisputed.
you here to spy on me, Troy? No. I'm here on behalf of Miz to make sure you're staying on task. To recruit two teammates for SmackDown Survivor Series War Games team. So have you done? Eh, not quite. Survivor Series will be here before we know it. So come on, go find some teammates now. Or we'll have to choose for you. Thanks, Troy. What would I do without you? <laughs> Well, the more people I could recruit, the more uh, nice my team, my thing would look. I'm gonna change the title to War Games. I'm changing the stream title to War Games. There we go. Actually, we'll just get rid of those. There you go. This title seems more appealing. After this match, I gotta take my pill. Captain, just what he's capable of. I think it's a great idea. And now both of these sluggers are gonna be throwing haymakers trying to get a fast victory. I gotta defeat LA Knight in five less than five minutes. To get a callback. Neck is trapped. Suplex! From the apron. Whoa, what a landing. Oh, colliding with a barricade. Pop-ups their opponent. What the hell was that? Good thing said road break before I even had him covered. Get off of me. Bearing elbows in the midsection. Uh-oh. Oh, we counted it. Ooh, nice hip toss. Stopped them right in their tracks. He saw it coming, taking advantage. Butterfly suplex. Double under the suplex. Cover. Stops the count before it too. Not yet. Blockbuster. Ooh. Knight doesn't have any room to recover. LA has run into a roadblock. Running out of time. What a bionic elbow. Got the full Nelson. Slam. Simple but effective leg drop. Was definitely not thinking about finesse with that one. Was only thinking about dominance. You want to control the tempo. You want to dictate the pace. That right there is how you do it. Soaring. What? Just crashing down with high impact. And he gets delivered back into the ring. Punch connects. Scouted. These two training counters an absolute master. These two training one blow after Oh, that's how you do it. Just teeing off 
off with that fight forever vibe. Looks like a hockey fight's just broken out. I think I figured it out finally. This won't end well. Setting them up. It's about to get worse. Watch this athleticism all the way to the top, my God. And down we go. Wow. And you have to think moves like that are why LA Knight is so confident. Just one of many reasons. Knight is the real deal in every sense of the word. One step ahead of Knight there. L.A. Knight and showing his opponent takes a ride on the gravy train. Shoulder up right away. I was not expecting that from him at this point. Slam. That's not what I wanted to do. Went for something, but got a stiff elbow there. Right. I don't have time to do this. They have 15 seconds left. LA Knight is done. Are you kidding me? I'm pretty sure everyone in the building thought that was going to be the end of it. Myself included. And you can sense the desperation mounting as that last move couldn't finish things. And the ref waves this one off as time expires. Wow. All that for nothing. Oh boy. Motherfucker kicked out of the freaking st the stunner. Story complete. I thought I had the win in five minutes. We're probably getting near the end of the story, actually. Because there wasn't much left of the story mode after uh, I had to recruit a team for the last uh, for the the War Games match in the last game. What a huge red WWE Universal Champ is Chance to put Randy over. Probably not going to win for a couple hundred years, Byron. You know why? Because the Billy Goat's curse is in effect. Oh, I can't stand this move. Hi, Colt. All right. Way to break the curse. Oh. Brain Buster. Ring IQ on display there. Drop kick from behind. Big forearm. Nice scoop slam. Sinking elbow. And Orton doesn't look as venomous after that move. He planned for this and could still rally. And they were just sent flying on that one. Orton has the momentum against him here. Orton's being kept in check. Another reversal. Eye for an eye here. He turns it around. Oh, look at this here, guys. Look at this. Back suplex into a power. Oh my goodness! 
When the champ wants to prove a point, nothing does it like a powerbomb. Rapid fire stops to the back, doling out as much damage as possible, looking to silence the challenger once and for all. This will turn your lights out in a hurry. Solo and drive. Getting dropped on your head like that is not something you want to be doing often. He's going to kick out if I hit him with a... If I try to pin him. He's still got enough uh, energy going. And he sends him into the corner. Had the Viper scouted. Fast press! Fast press! Yes, press! Orton getting worked on right now. The Viper might be feeling a bit rattled. Black hole slam! Slam! A championship level move. to give everything you've got. I don't know how much you can... Sinking elbow! Cover! Two! A kick out at two. I cannot believe what I'm seeing right now. No one can. Incoming! From the top! Finds the mark with a leg drop. Obviously, still has some fight left. Can Orton withstand this attack? And Orton needs to. Oh, it's another brain buster. To his pace. Oh, ouch! Hit your dragon screw leg whip. Once again, here is your winner, and still the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, the Nightmare, the Rose. Who else can I recruit? Go stare at Eric Bischoff and then we'll talk. <laughs> you know, if I could recruit Austin, that would be amazing. They say imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. Well, I hope Stone Cold Steve Austin feels flattered tonight. The champ can Kate Bischoff stun with a Stone Cold Stunner. Stone Cold Steve Austin will have no choice but to eat his words and join Team SmackDown for more games. Not a single word you just said makes any sense in the year 2024, but I am here for it. Elbow, and that's closer to what I expected. I don't know if Bischoff has a chance in this fight. Yeah, but he's not breathing heavy yet. Insecurity to the floor. He is revving up the engine. He's not going to let anything stop him. And his eyes are piercing through the opposition now. He's doing a whole lot of gesturing, and it could cost him. Okay, already, we get it. Stop looking for adulation for the crowd and get back into the fight. Man, this is about as close as you can cut it. They're playing with fire here. He beats the count, and this one continues. Four-way slam! 
An unrelenting assault being brought to Bischoff. Every form of offense Bischoff attempts is being neutralized. Boom! Look at this, just stop after stop after stop. Each of those boots seem to get hit. A little heat sinking elbow. He may be in a bad way here. Maybe he is in a bad way. Beginning to show some wear and tear. Might want to think about picking up the pace a bit. Uh oh, going for the ride. Choke slam. A oh, timely counter by Bischoff. Bischoff gets intercepted. Of course, he freaking countered the starter. And he can't defend any offense coming his way. Yeah, but he's always one counter away from changing things. And Bischoff, oh, he grew tired of his smug attitude. Exchange of counters there. Leg drop. It's effective. Watch these kicks to the lower body, right to the hamstring. There it is. Just punched him right in the mouth. Relentless. Right to the my God. Stop after stop after stop. <laughs> I love it. Bischoff is feeding off the energy, whether it's good or bad. Oh, God. Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. And Bischoff is showing off his skills. Yeah, Bischoff with impressive offense. He's looking a little off balance. Bischoff proving too much to handle with that. He is looking to do some serious harm. Well, I don't have the stunner yet. In the corner he goes, a perfectly placed target. Are you kidding me, Bischoff? And this one might be headed ringside. Gouging at the face, this is gnarly. Come on, enough! That's not right. <laughs> Off the barricade! <laughs> Taking aim on the arm. Now that guy directing their attack on the neck. And Bischoff is showing off his skills. Yeah, Bischoff isn't giving any quarter. He's testing fate here in danger of a count out. And they feel the count. Wow, so close. Enable the counter. Great job refocusing to reverse that. I don't know why I couldn't get my signature off before. Yeah, now I have two in case he blocks the stunner again. It's over. Bischoff's in Syria. It's over. He just created a prime opportunity. Oh man, look at all these fucking points I have, man. Let's fucking go. Let's go. I'm at overall 90 now. Now I'm gonna do more damage.
Randy Orton. Some great tag team action tag match. The Viking Raiders take on what reports say could be the cornerstone of the SmackDown Survivor Series team. Be a, be a Viking by pinfall. If he really wants to contribute to Team SmackDown and not just Team Theory, he would be great to have in War Games. Well, Theory isn't just a talented athlete, he's smart. He knows that if SmackDown is doing well, he's doing well. Going up top. Oh, look out! Diving into a clothesline! Boom! Oh my goodness! No respect being shown whatsoever with those stunts. He reverses it! Oh, and a cartwheel! And a sequence of reversals here. Both superstars clearly studied game tape ahead of time. Oh, she has bad intentions now. Removing the turnbuckle pad. I don't think Ivar enjoyed taking that attack head on. He is still very much in this. Hoisted up. All the way out. Suplex. Here he comes off the tag. Brought back into the ring from the floor now. Uh-oh. Well scattered reversal there. Look at this, just stop after stop after stop. You have to imagine the disdain it takes to repeatedly stop someone like that. Samoa driver. Eric slowly rising to what may be his demise. Good night. What a stunner. Eric looks out of it. He's heading up top, thinking big from the top. Would you look at this? She is removing the turnbuckle pad now. That's got to be it. Look at this, just unloading. And a Oof. stop to the gut, too. That versatile offense of the Viking Raiders looks stifled there. Yeah, as Theory is definitely feeling even cockier here. Sharp elbows to the body, looking to fight his way out. Float over. Oh, he reversed the float over Theory DDT. Off. I didn't mean to do that. I just used my momentum to get up. Oh. And tag. He did it. Let's go. Boom, right to the jaw. Oh, you can pick up your teeth in section 112. The double leg drop. from theory being carried around with ease damn it impressive display of power Ivar getting excited what's he gonna do big boot to the gut the clubbing forearm ripcord applied boom knock him down ouch turns it around Foot meets the stomach. What a headbutt. Vicious. Oh, she has bad intentions now. Removing the turnbuckle pad. No. He is delivering elbow after elbow. 
Pop kick. Roll the outside, and he's looking like he wants nothing to do with it. Tag is made, and here we go. Oh, this is going to be nasty. Driven down. Boom. Ooh, what a nasty kick. That's disrespectful. Ooh. He's struggling a bit here. These two teams have gone to war, Cole. Of course, they're going to wind up with a few battle scars. Theory looking for a win in the now. Oh, the ATL. More than just war paint now dripping on the face of Eric. From the top. Yeah. Elbow drop. Well, the advantage is turned towards Theory. Every form of offense Eric attempts is being neutralized. Nasty stop to finish it off. Oh, I'm glitched again. Cool. So whenever a match has like a, oh, I broke out of it. Austin Theory hoisting him up. Brainbuster across the knee. Objective failed. Why? Because, oh, what? My guy has There's to do it? So what's the point of even getting him in the match then? Take on what reports say could be the cornerstone of the SmackDown Survivor Series team. Austin Theory is a talented guy. And if he really wants to contribute to Team SmackDown and not just Team Theory, he would be great to have in World Games. Well, Theory isn't just a talented athlete. He's smart. He knows that if SmackDown is doing well, he's doing well. Arms are trapped. Oh, headbutt from behind. Oh, look at this. Looking for something, anything under the ring. Those are folding chairs, but they can also fold you in half. Looking worse for wear in the corner now. Fast press! Fast press! Yes, press! Practically never-ending blows. Coming at full force here. That aggressive style the Viking Raiders being met in kind there. What makes a great tag partner, Cole, is knowing when to tag. We'll find out soon enough if he's even a good tag Didn't partner. say I had to specifically do it. Nasty right hand. Answers with an enziguri. Crashing to the floor. Ivar did his homework there. He steers clear of contact. Tagged with a punch. This is another disqualification match from the chair out here. Oh, this man handling their opponent. And there's the fall away slam. I'll just leave it at this. Nobody comes into a match hoping to get chucked around like that. Bam! Suplex. I can't believe it. Somehow able to find the leverage and get it done. Blast off. Oh, a huge miss there. Go for the ride! Choke slam! Oh, the stunner! That was the best one I've ever seen. Ivar's in big, big trouble! And to carry to the floor! Yeah. Oh. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. He is 
just completely lost his wind. Yeah, not looking good at all. Into a nice takedown. Nasty right hand. Oh my gosh. Scissors kick. Hoping to end it here. This is it. He keeps his team in the match. Ivar's lost any momentum here. Yeah, Ivar needs to find an opening fast. This is in Zaguri. Oh, flatliner. Alrighty, well, it's 12.30. I should have took my pill a while ago. So I'm going to grab a drink right quick and do that. I've already been live for two hours, man. It's crazy. It sure as hell didn't feel like it. Still got quite a few here to do. Uh, excuse me. Well, here is something that I would never have expected to see. The WWE Universal Champion and Logan Paul are teaming up. That's right, Cole. It shows how gracious Logan Paul is to try to team up with the champ after all their history together. Speaking of history, how historic would it be for Logan Paul to join Team SmackDown at Survivor Series? So I'm not even going to tag out because if I win the match with anyone else, it's probably not going to count again. So. at all. What an onslaught. Incoming power bomb. Big time power bomb. I felt the vibration of that one from all the way over here. A little heat sinking elbow. 
And Sheamus can't seem to get out of harm's way. Yeah, Sheamus is getting beaten down. Boom! Oh, what a kick! Ooh. Simple but effective leg drop. Boom! Uh-oh! Sheamus denies the attack. Sheamus doing what he can do to stop the beatdown. Yeah, Sheamus able to momentarily stop the bleeding, but will he also gain control? How's that for a counter? Uh-oh. Uh oh, the elbow to halt the offense. Short clothesline hits its mark. Tagged in. Bam! Oh, Reg caught by the counter. I think we're back. Yeah, we're back. I don't know. It's getting OBS crash tonight. Lisa has a stop the stream though. Thank God. What a knockout punch! Oh man! Inverted scoop slam. Look at this! Just what a barrage of stops. Ridge gets held in check there. Holland able to evade. Oh, God. Holland's losing any command of this match. Ridge needs to figure things out. That kick will stop me in your tracks. Oh, oh a kick connects. Boom. Ducking out of trouble. Oh, targeting the neck. Uh-oh. Going for the run. Holland's legs are teetering. He might have nothing left. Stop! Emphatically delivered. I am not liking Ridge's odds here. Boom! And an impressive amount of offense against him here. Yeah, and every attempt to fight back's being negated. We got a cover. Oh, good. Get me out of that match. That Bobby Lashley. Oh, it's a cage, oh, a tag team cage match. Try to pin or submit. What the hell did that say? Lashley knows his way around an MMA cage. Blah blah blah. blah. Try to pin or 
try to attempt a pin while in the ring with one of your opponents lying on the mat. Okay. Geronimo! Jesus. That didn't work out, that did it. Yeah, I should get my ass beat. Bunga.
Beat his ass for me. I guess it counts as long as one of us wins the match. Miz looks like he has a lot in his mind headed into Survivor Series. Look out! From behind! Is that a giant bunny? What the hell? We've seen some strange things in WWE over the years, but a bunny... Why am I beating up the Miz in a bunny suit? <laughs> to the neck neck breaker <laughs> Ooh, a direct headshot just sickening oh. and he barely evades Ooh, chair shot takes the win right out and that was an effective attack guys setting this table up and guys someone's about to have a really bad night Miz with awesome awareness inverted DDT lights out oh he knew what was coming with the reversal oh look at this here guys look at this back suplex into a powerball my goodness Good defense. Oh, the spear! Simple but effective leg drop. Vicious right forearm. Spear! Not sure what he has in mind here, climbing that ladder. Gotten himself into a very precarious situation up there. Oh, boy. Climbing that ladder, and there's nothing good at the end of it. He's way up high now. Not sure I like wherever this is going. And remember, guys, this is a loading dock area. This isn't built with any safety precautions in mind. Say what you mean, Cole. No one's supposed to be up there. Neck box suplex! They tell me I can't throw him off. No, apparently I can't. And gentlemen, I've seen a lot of movies with scenes on a catwalk. Spoiler alert, they usually end in catastrophe. Oh, I hope that's not an omen of things to come. Oh my god, that is gonna hurt. Oh, foot just stomping down. And to 
Does anyone know if this area is even up to safety code? I don't know, Saxon. These guardrails have been looking a little loose. You don't want to get close to any ledges up there. Drops the hammer. Right on the lower back. Just punched him right in the mouth. Oh, Relentless. Oh. Right to the face. My God. And look, these competitors warned us that someone was going to get hurt tonight, but no one thought it would mean this. If they were looking for a place to inflict maximum damage, they found it. Caught with a knee. That's the end of that. And perhaps he thought better of it heading back down now. Coming back down the ladder. He didn't like the look of things from up there. He saw it coming. Face first into the snapmare driver. Slips out of the way. Huge boot. Get off me, dickhead. The body looking to fight his way out. Both superstars showing great awareness of their opponent's repertoire. Setting them up on the table. Beginning a very ominous ascent. I'm not sure if he's trying to escape or... Uh, I can't jump from up there? Dangerous direction. Oh, that's lame. Oh, come on now. The Miz is being reprehensible. Oh. Boom, right in the button. Slam down. Taking their time. Oh, vertical suplex. Look at the power here. Absolutely incredible. Walking around the ring. Oh, nice. Walking around the ring, huh? Leg sweep. Oh no, this isn't going to be good. No official needed here, as it looks like they've settled it themselves. Yeah, I just hope knocked his ass out. That was fun. Did the beat up the Miz in a bunny suit. That's it. So I, I guess I recruited everybody I could possibly recruit. But now I had to pick my team. But first, we are going to boost defense. Actually, no, we already boosted defense. We're going to boost resiliency. We'll boost all of these up. Now I'm a 91 overall. I can boost my stats three more times. Alright. So it's me, Finn Balor. We got a choice of Dominic Mysterio, Grayson Waller, LA Knight, Austin Theory, Logan Paul, Kevin Owens, Bobby Lashley, Randy Orton, Stone Cold Steve Austin, or Bad Bunny. Uh, so we're going to go with Stone Cold. 
Kevin Owens. You here to spy on me, Troy? No. I'm here on behalf of Miz to make sure you're staying on task. To recruit two teammates for SmackDown Survivor Series War Games team. So have you done that? Actually, I have. Excellent. Ready to lock them in? Once you make this decision, Miz will let corporate know it's official, so you can't change your mind. Besides, we really need to start promoting the participants, and Miz has big plans he wants to kick off for the Build to Survivor series. I like the group I've assembled. Team SmackDown is ready for war games and whatever else Miz has planned. Good. I'll let the boss know. We're cutting away from Cody Rhodes' title defense because SmackDown superstars have invaded backstage. Is this part of their War Games team? Luckily, Luke Gallows is here to back up his partner. Let's get back to ringside as we monitor this developing situation. Why did they back off of him? They should have beat his ass, too. Cody Rhodes has successfully defended his World Heavyweight Championship, but has no idea what's transpired backstage during this match. Well, he's about to find out now. I think this is the debut of SmackDown's War Games team. And what a lineup they've assembled. This doesn't look good for the American Nightmare. He's in trouble. He might not even make it to War Games. And there's their captain, the WWE Universal Champion. Cody Rhodes is surrounded. Hold on. Cody has backup. It's his Survivor Series teammates. Well, at least some of them after Carl Anderson was taken out. This is about to explode. Here we go. Hold on. Not on my bloody show, gentlemen. Save it for war games. Come on, Regal. I wanted to see them fight. Team Raw's side is at a disadvantage. <laughs> Smart move, if you ask me. That's enough. And there it is. And Regal gets nailed by SmackDown's champion. That did not go as planned. You think? William Regal has been a mentor to the so-called Dark Horse. Invading Raw was a slap in the face. And now, he just took a literal blow from his supposed friend accidental or not well for now it looks like team smackdown is going to retreat this didn't break into an all-out war but they delivered a strong message here tonight i agree corey we didn't know who would represent the blue brand survivor series and now we know it's going to be an epic battle inside that double-sided cage i can't wait We did what Miz asked, and honestly, it didn't turn out that great. I never wanted to assault William Regal. What do you mean? It was must-see TV! Especially the part when you nailed Regal! Good stuff, pal. Whatever. So what does our genius GM have planned next? And where is he even? I haven't seen him anywhere since I got to the building. Well, with, um, tensions escalating and who knows how Raw would retaliate, Miz thought it was better if he stayed home this week. So, he ran away again. Got it. Look, what's more important is Regal is sending AJ Styles here for a War Games preview match. And Miz has so much confidence in his team captain that he wants you to decide who should fight Styles. Okay, and you want my decision now? Yes, and Miz also said if you make the wrong call and we lose, then it's completely on you. So choose wisely. Good. I'll let the boss know.
After a bit of an invasion by the phenomenal AJ Styles and a SmackDown opponent are giving us a preview of the upcoming War Games match at Survivor Series. Yeah, these two attempt to pin, attempt series, match can't to really pin AJ Styles. Of War Games. I hear you, Corey, but any good tactician will take any edge they can get to prepare for such a brutal match. Cover here. Any yeah, says, where the hell is Stone Cold using DDT? Strikes with a kick. Screw. AJ Styles. Oh. Knee right to the face. Oh man, he foiled that attempt. Getting set up for something in the corner. Oh, the moonsault connects. Styles telling the audience now to watch him. Watch AJ get things phenomenally done. of counter these two having an answer for everything hold on brings them down Caught with a clothesline veteran instincts from austin elbow right to the nose evades their offense watch oh, german suplex into the pin attempt. Maybe that was just to keep his opponent off balance. Oh, flipping the script on him there. Steve Austin playing in one there. Oof. Austin showing no fear, no intimidation. Oh, wrestling oh. Get to the ropes, forcing the break. A lot of damage done, but the ropes offer a reprieve. And look at this now. Bad intentions coming with this hole. Well, this won't win the match, but it's won a single leg camel clutch and a great oh, no. counter. Wow, what impact! I don't recall Austin ever using a gut wrench suplex either. Tosses it back in now. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. Sharp jab. Series of strikes to the back. Loving blows. I think rage took over in that moment. Nothing but blind rage. Oh, right to the heart. A uh, hailstorm's coming, courtesy of the Texas Rattlesnake. Austin Stop. Nobody recovers when Austin hits that. Cover! He kicked out of two. The fight at AJ is still very much alive. He's not going down without a fight. Austin has put away so many opponents like this before, but tonight is going to be a tougher Pile driver. Stone Cold has taken command. AJ's got to slow this momentum down. Beautiful chop block. Seated drop kick. Oh, God. That looked devastating. He kicks out before the count starts. I'm having a hard time believing that one. Waist lock, able to counter, looking fighting out from the opposition. Uh oh, jawbreaker! Call the dentist. Oh man! Carefully measuring. Oh, look at the well-placed elbow right on the mark. Wow, what a leg sweep! a little bit off his game after that hit. When Styles gets on the attack like that, you don't want none. Uh. Torturous focus on the leg. Ooh. Damn it. Response to AJ there. 
Storm Cold letting his feelings towards his opponent be well known. From the top, you gotta be kidding me! Coming down on their opponent like a sack of bricks. And now gets tossed into the ring. AJ evades that one. Ooh. Off and building up. Uh oh. He must have had that scouted. Big flying forearm. Styles, Styles, Over the ropes. And he's just in reach of the ropes and gets it to force the break. The ropes become a competitor's best friend in desperate moments like that one. Ooh, impactful knee drop. What elevation. Oh, right in the solar plexus. And it's Austin who finds himself on the receiving end there. Styles will keep fighting until he has nothing left. And he goes into the ring. Stone Cold looking beat down. Big opportunity to score a win over Austin. Catches him with a jawbreaker. Austin with a Stone Cold stunner. This could put a stop to AJ. Oh, close line. Austin just looking to humiliate his opponent. Stone Cold on the break. Okay, consider that a harsh lesson. Austin with a stunner! Oh, that's gotta end it this time around. Three stunners, we ain't kicking out. No fucking way. That's it, Austin able to get the win. Here is your winner, Stone Cold Steve Austin! We got the win against AJ, but War Games is going to be a whole lot tougher. With you and the rest of the crew we have, I like our chances. Same. Although I do wish we weren't fighting on Miz's behalf. I hear you, but it's bigger than that. So how about we win the match, then we'll work on getting our house in order. Deal. Board game time. Versus blue, Raw versus SmackDown. As a dark horse. Both sides of the battlefield, but who will lead their team to strike Cody Rhodes the in the corner of the ring? In, this could be over. And look at him tapping. He's had enough, but it doesn't even matter in this scenario. Cody's not even in the match yet, so I can't even do that. It's a power bomb. Big time power bomb. Crashing down like that, having the wind knocked out of you. Never a good time for that to happen. Wow, what an arm drag. Neck is trapped. Suplex. Oh, what a spear. Nope. He's burying elbows to the midsection. And he absolutely has no problem just chucking him onto the steel, knocking the wind out of him in the process. Makes him pay with a counter. Oh, man. Battling on that strip of steel. Maybe the most dangerous place in there right now. The crowd is counting it down. Next entry will tip the scales and perched up top. Buster connects. Wait a second. He's going up the wall. The extreme war games mentality is taking over. Going up the cage now must have some sort of strategy in mind. 
He's made sure the odds are blocked. Take off. Boom. Drop kick from behind. He's already bringing the numbers advantage, but he wants something more. Boom. Drop right across the neck. Ooh, that got turned around on Styles. If you're on the opposite side of this entry, you are bracing for a fight. You have to be in peak physical condition to pull off a move with that much weight behind it. DDT spiked. Kick right to the back of the leg. Just a ruthless streak for the world to see. All's fair in love and war, gentlemen. I saw nothing but effective offense. Oh, oh a stop to the belly. No, 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 no. Oh, putting your body on the line. Taking the most extreme risk possible. But will it ultimately pay off? It could have all been for nothing if you can't capitalize on the big maneuver. Out of the cage and rushing in to erase the numbers advantage. Uh-oh. Going for the ride. Choke slam. <laughs> Take it aimed to the back of the neck. Oh, vicious right forearm. Uh-oh, this is... And it's going to be a power bomb. I thought I freaking escaped that. He dropped me right on the freaking table, though. That was awesome. An absolute leap of faith, as graceful as anything can be in a steel cage. Clock running down. A sigh of relief can surely be breathed once the next competitor enters. I still gotta strike Cody in the corner of the ring when he gets in the ring. When he gets in the match. Carl Anderson coming in. Oh, he's got a sledgehammer. Luke drawing a big reaction from the crowd. Snapmare could set something else up. Seated drop kick. He's been placed in the corner now. Oh, he suplexed my partner right into me. 
Reigns, it's over. Styles clash. Has AJ delivered the exclamation? From the top, oh man. Uh, I thought I blocked that, but okay. Fair Looks not. like he does want some. up their opponent and meanwhile Finn Balor 1960 and he's just been tossed aside into a new terrain oh countdown underway the odds of Allen to no longer be even that's Kevin Owens Entering into an absolute war zone, giving the troops the boost they need. And that was a precisely measured attack. Here's the snapman. And he dropped a fracture over Nobody hold on that. Look at this straight. From behind, back suplex. Able to get the advantage here. And over to the other ring. Oh, wow, goes. he's wasted one of my specials. Frick. Cody, come on. Knees meet face. Has Teams even uh. doors locked. All right, let's see. As a dark horse, straight Cody Rhodes in the se oh in the center of the ring. Okay. I thought it said the corner of the ring. This one's over. No, he lets him out. Yeah, I think he knew he wasn't going to get the submission there. Sky high. Oh, man. Austin. Stop. 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 Versus champion. Cody holds on. Is this it? And he nails the crossroads. Could that do One, it? Two, three. It's over. World Heavyweight Champion Cody Rhodes and Team Raw have just defeated the WWE Universal Champion and SmackDown. It's been several years since the legend of the Dark Horse was born, built on a victory over Cody Rhodes that many said was a fluke due to the interference of Roman Reigns. Did the World Heavyweight Champion just prove everyone right? I have a feeling these two will meet again down the line with a lot more at stake. We'll see about that, Michael. Unbelievable. Until then, this is Team Raw and the American Nightmare's Night to stand tall over WWE. Oh, that's unfortunate.
Listen, I know you're dealing with a lot of pressure right now after war games. It's overwhelming. And it can make you forget why you stepped into this business with a heart full of passion. Trust me, I get it. But picture this. A match after hours at TBD when the arena is deserted and all eyes are off you. No obligations to live up to anyone's expectations, no titles to defend, just you and a ring. Pins only. Back to the core of wrestling. Sure. It'll get me development points anyway, so... We get Chosen, it looks like. Try to pin Chosen, yep. Cutter off the top rope. Oh, Jesus. I guess this match has uh, no rules. We got a TLC match. Oh, I just missed the spear on the ladder. Oh, he just friggin' landed right on the table. Power bomb. One, two. Oh, I just threw his ass on the freaking ladder. Oh, that had to hurt. I'm gonna see what happens if I do the diving leg drop off the ladder through the table again if it glitches or if it was just that match. Oh, the ladder's the, the ladder, the table. The table's glitching through the floor. Fixed it. Okay. 
Okay, I don't know why I didn't keep him on the table. Lock my knock my ladder down, didn't you? Get out. I gotta reset my damn ladder up. Ah. <sighs> No, go up the ladder. Go up the ladder. He's gonna move now. I'll be very surprised if he doesn't. I need to do another table. He put himself through the table. That was fun. This championship run is epic! You must be so stressed. I'm stressed vicariously through you. You know what helps me relax? I like to go on vacation. In my mind. Here's what I'm thinking. Close your eyes, take yourself somewhere exotic, and imagine yourself doing the most exciting thing you can think of. Which, for me, is wrestling. But against someone fun, like, what about Doink the Clown? Wanna see where your mind can take you? All right, you fucking weirdo.
attempt to defeat Doink the Clown. Big back body drop. Challenge the pile driver. Boink. I thought he was going to counter that. Puts him away with a tombstone. that we want the fence well, I can't do all right we'll do grappling in the fence then oh look who it is finally answered me there tiger don't get hot this isn't an invasion then what are you doing at my show do they not have gyms at raw i'm here with news because i wanted to tell you man to man and not have you read it on social media to think i could have continued to live in blissful ignorance sorry to be the bearer of bad news but after i beat you at survivor series miz and regal are giving the wwe universe what it wants you and me title versus title at the royal rumble 
That's actually good news. Thanks. Honestly, you could have slid into my DMs to let me know. Miz asked me to come to SmackDown. He made an additional proposition. <laughs> let me guess. The WWE Universal Champion and the World Heavyweight Champion in a tag team match for the first time ever. And it's gonna be awesome. He tell you already? <laughs> Guy learned at the feet of Teddy Long. <laughs> so what do you say? We obviously both like gold. You ready to team up? You know what? Hell with it. I'm in. I knew you wouldn't resist the opportunity. Go team. Thirty-eight. Here we go. I would imagine the story is going to end at WrestleMania, not the Royal Rumble. That wouldn't make sense. What's going on, Kratos? Thanks, dude. Yeah, I hit it last night. I hit the seven hundred last night while you were in the chat. Before I gotta stay ahead of Casey champion, somehow, you know. He's actually catching up to me, and I'm actually not liking it. Damage the Viking Raiders. Ask Cody Rhodes. Okay, so I'm gonna tag out. Don't be so obtuse, Saxton. This is just good box office. Miz just knows pizzazz when he sees it. Tagged into the action. Rose kick to the gut, drops down, drops down, and delivers a right. Delivers the bulldog. Close fist connects. Ooh. Oh, what a DDT. Big forearm. And that has to bring Eric down a peg. Right now he's thinking one of two things, Cole. I need to get out of here. Or I'm going to answer this call and pay him back. Ooh. Oh, perfect kick. A dragon screw leg whip. Reaches his partner for the tag. Is he gonna do the shoulder breaker? Could have said sack of potatoes. He didn't have to say sack of shit, you know. Would you look at this? She is removing the turnbuckle pad now. Oh, gee, straight to the cranium. Trying to torque with the back of the neck here. Win the match by pinfall with Cody Rhodes. So my guy can't even be a factor in this match. Kratos, Kratos. <laughs> Rose and Cody versus the Viking Raiders sounds like a can they coexist type of bullshit idea. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. Yeah, I saw I saw a couple of uh, I saw a video, a couple of uh, videos on it. We might discuss that on Sunday night, too, because so far, there's really no topics I've come across worth really talking about, other than that uh, somebody who decided to spend uh, almost $16.5 million on a fucking NFT.
Whoops. Constant frequent tags are so important in a match like this to keep fresh. Put me down, you fucking big oaf. Well, I can tell you right now, I don't think Ronda Rousey's ever going back to WWE, even if, even if she ever wanted to. Now that she completely buried the company. Though I don't really know all of the context behind what she said, but, um... Yeah, it doesn't sound good. I wouldn't think though Vince would have tried to to pull anything with Rousey because she would break his fucking arms if he did. <laughs> Jesus. Good night. From the top rope, missile drop kick on point. Russian leg sweep. Ah, uh, here you go. I wonder why Cody Rhodes uses the pedigree. I actually don't think I've ever seen him use it on TV. Come to think of it. Saxton, the WWE Universal title puts a target on his back every time he even enters an arena. They say when you know, you know, and I know there's no tag team on the roster that can touch these two guys. This uh, some of these streams are retaining my uh, my viewership, which is good. People who started watching haven't stopped watching, which is good. I don't know how long this angle is, but once this uh, story angle is over, then hey, I'm partner. done for you the night. You ready to win some tag team gold? <laughs> partner? I'm your partner now? Wait. What have you been out of shape about now? We've won our match, and now we've got a title opportunity. Which sure is great. I guess I just didn't realize that our team was the Dark Horse and the Show Horse. What the hell is that supposed to mean? It means you spent our whole match out there hogging the spotlight instead of working as a team. I did what was necessary to win. That's a problem for you? No, no problem. I just see you, Cody. I see you. What you need to see is that our next opponents are the SmackDown Tag Team Champions, and they are not going down without a fight. Don't worry. I'm focused. My eyes are most definitely on the prize. Good. Then maybe the next time we see each other at an airport, we'll be carrying heavier bags. So basically, Kratos, what you're saying is that the, the, the women basically had to fuck their way to the top. Is that what you're saying? You know, I didn't realize the WWE mentality backstage was the same as the porn industry. That's a little disturbing. Going into a tag team title match, it's very rare that you feel like the champions are the underdogs, but I think that's the case tonight. 
You might be right. It is going to be hard to take down two world champions. No way. The Dark Horse and Cody Rhodes are going to be fighting at the Royal Rumble. And I bet they'll get into a fight tonight. You can't beat the real Trade tag three team times with Cody Rhodes. Rhodes. Okay. Tag team champion. The champ flexed their knowledge of the human anatomy with that move. Comes in off the tag. Double arm lock. Wow. There's a lot of hard ways to land, but that might be the hardest. And it's reverse pain for that mistake. Series of reversals. Each superstar trying to stay a step ahead. Punch right in the head. Way to throw me into the referee, Gilhol. He's in off the tag. That's one tag. According to her, yes. Watch JD's video on the subject from yesterday. I saw he uploaded the video, his video, but I didn't watch his. I watched the one from uh, Slat Rock video, uh, Slat Rock Wrestling, but um, obviously their video, you know, basically re was like a dynamite recap, and uh, like they they mentioned it, but they didn't really go into much detail on it. Yeah, I didn't watch JD's video yet, but I saw he uploaded about it. Nasty. That was all power. Taking it to the champ with incredible force. Stop after stop after stop. The challenger with a rabid attack. Will the champ find an answer? Oh, I whiffed on a fucking drop there. kick. <laughs> Look at the airplane spin off a front face lock. That's incredible. I, I want to see freaking uh, Castagnoli do a fucking uh, giant Hit spin like that. Or the giant swing that he does. He does it the traditional way. Hoisted up. Oh, stalling, taking their time. We got all day up here. Boom. Tagging his partner in now. Partner tags in. Holy shit, he caught me in a monkey flip from a fucking clothesline. Defeat the Brawley Bruce by pinfall as the Dark Horse. Okay. Motherfucker. Evades the attack. Now talking to my lady friend, because I haven't heard from her all day. Chicken wing. So that's why I keep pausing the stream. to riling people up. Oh, the ch
Challenger eating up some damage. Yeah, and Butch focused on taking his pound of flesh from his opponent there. Down for a European heartbreaker. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Arm ringer applied. Arm breaker. You get off of me, you dill hole. You're going to get me counted out. Big risk here. He may be counted out. He might be oblivious to the count, guys. He's tagging out. He's getting fired up now. Fuck. The American Nightmare. You. Looking to put his opponent on Dream Street. Crossroads. We can have a new champion. Uh-oh. Go for the ride. Choke slam. Stunner. Go see a new champ. champion and the world heavyweight champion are on a collision course for the royal rumble but now they are smackdown tag team champions together. oh good that's gonna be a lot of hardware for them a tag team that is barely existing as tag champions now explode at any moment <laughs> miz is a genius the WWE Universe definitely approves of the new tag champs. Why wouldn't they? It's not too often you see this kind of star power in the ring at the same time, let alone on the same uh -oh. team. Do it. Hit him. You know you yeah, hit him. Who are you talking <laughs> to, Corey? Both of them. I can't stand either one of these guys. These men are now the SmackDown Tag Team Champions, and they're on shaky ground at best. How are they going to coexist until the Royal Rumble? I hope they don't. Champ, how you feeling? Much to my surprise, I'm feeling great. I thought Miz was out of his mind teaming us up, but it's worked out pretty damn good. Cheers to that. Another lucky break. Another lucky break. Even when you dole out compliments, you manage to make them patronizing. The word lucky triggers you? I've just been hearing it for a long time. Because you got lucky beating me for the WWE Universal title. All right. Gloves off. Here we go. What would you call it? I had you beat when Roman. Here we go. It's been more than two years, Cody. You, Reigns, Miz, all of you keep talking fluke like I haven't been beating everybody who comes at me. You haven't beaten me. Not until the Rumble, partner. We'll see. For now, we have one more title defense before then. See if you can keep your ego in check long enough that we can win the damn match. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Look at all that gold at ringside. The Dark Horse and the American Nightmare. Take away takedown. Image either member of Alpha Academy. The ankle lock is cinched in. And breaks the hole, but damage has been done. One, two. Snapmare takedown. Bro, that fucking boot you just hit me with didn't do shit. Completely no sold it. It's effective. And proving a bit slippery for them there. What's going to happen here? Double team action on the way. 
Dalton. God, terrible position to be in there. If the champions want to keep their titles, they can't allow any more of these double teams. I was gonna say, I reversed and the that. Attack from Otis avoided. Tagging Cody Rhodes. Any of those vicious right forearm. Brought down with a DDT. The champ tags. Oh, Cody, you fucking douchebag. Things are getting very interesting as we head toward the Rumble. I'd say so. This just became a handicap match. Big clothesline line going for a pin for the championship. Cody's a douche. He's turned on me for no reason. He's burying elbows in the midsection. Uh oh, going for the ride. Yeah, Otis is kicking out. There's no way I'm gonna pin him. Oh, we didn't kick out. Wow. Tag titles stay put. Here is your winner. And still the nightmare. The Rose. Despite Cody Rhodes leaving the WWE Universal Champion high and dry, the dark horse is standing tall. Because Lady Luck is riding shotgun with this guy, Saxton. Whenever he should be finished, the champ manages to keep slithering away. Where the hell is Miz? Ah, uh, uh, Miz is at a very important media promotional event. He hightailed it as soon as Cody jumped off that apron, didn't he? Have you checked your social media? People love the drama between you and Cody. Besides, you guys can fix things up before your next match. There's not going to be a next match because I have had enough of that sanctimonious, entitled SOB. Our run as a team, it is over. So you can have your tag team championship back, because I am done. Miz is not going to be happy about this. Shut up, Troy. I don't care. When I beat Cody Rhodes for the heavyweight title at the Royal Rumble, I'll be able to go to any brand I want, any time I want. Miz's control over my career will be finished once and for all. Huh. Your boss is really not going to be happy about that. Yeah, how long is this freaking storyline? It's already gone through... Three matches? Three or four. It's been three. This will be four coming up. Before that Royal Rumble. This should end it. This should be it right here. Two beat Cody Rhodes in a pinfall or submission. Title versus title. We've seen the WWE Universal Champion go from Dark Horse to Unbeatable Phenomenon. But the one person who he hasn't really defeated is his opponent, Cody Rhodes. The undisputed part of that title has been disputed since Roman Reigns vacated it. Tonight, that debate could be settled once and for all. Oh, oh. Seated drop kick. The champ trying to roll with these hits. Able to elude it. Ooh and Cody Rhodes is failing to offer any resistance here. Yeah, Cody's having trouble fighting back. Nice side headlock applied. Oh, for a good punch. measure. Oh, my God. 
Yes. Ooh. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. Hurt. Looking to end this. The schoolboy. Punching their way out. Figure four. Picking the leg. Oh, we got a C. Trying to find a way out. The pressure is reversed. This is agonizing. Yeah, boom, what a punch. Good, great, grand uppercut. A little deep sinking elbow. Rose tied that one. That's finding any which way to topple the competition. Hurling your own body like that is insane. Shifts it back onto him. Ugh, gets put into the barricade with the counter. And now thrown back into the ring. Oh, off the rope. Set him up. Russian leg sweep. He's able to sidestep there. Ooh, reverse STO. Uh oh. Going for the ride. Choke slam. I am surprised that Aiden's reversed the stomach. He's going to at least kick out, though. Yep. But just how much more is needed. The end could still be right around the corner. All of that work, all these big moves, and it still didn't earn the fall. This is just brute power. What a German suplex. Cody is losing command in this one. Rhodes has to find a way to turn things around. This is not going to be good. Relentless. Drop. Taking this match off the mat now. Oh, oh baby. Sinking elbow. Cover. Two. Retains the title. Ladies and gentlemen, here is your undisputed WWE Universal and World Heavy Champion. The world heavy champion, huh? I think you missed the word there, buddy. Undisputed defeat Cody Rhodes. That's the trophy I just got. Striking and resilience. All right, well, we're going to leave it here for tonight. I don't know how much more of this is left, but we'll finish it. I'm sure we'll finish the, uh, the uh, My Rise Undisputed mode um, in the next stream. It does seem like we're really nearing the end, so... Stretch, damn. Oh, I felt good. Anyways, guys, check out Derail Gaming Live, OCRP, GTA 5 roleplay videos and live streams over there on his channel. Uh, now also featuring Fallout 76. He's uh, just started playing that game recently. Uh, follow me and subscribe right here to the Twitch channel if you're not already. Greatly appreciate it. Uh, follow me on YouTube's, you know, sub there too as well. Um, Twitch, again, more more especially, I get paid for it now, so uh, subs there. It's free for you if you have Prime, and I get paid for it, so it's a win-win situation. And, uh, yeah, guys, so I'll check all that out. Links are all down below. Uh, Derail Gaming is uh, YouTube only. Uh, the link for that is in, is in the YouTube description. 
of uh, all my videos and Twitter is also there so you know when I go live and upload a video and uh, yeah guys I think that's it I've been live for three a little over three and a half hours slightly over three and a half hours so I'm gonna call it a night I've uh, been having some fun with this game check out my live stream from yesterday when I went through um, the uh, Pokemon Scarlet and I caught all 25 legendaries that were added into the game with the uh, Indigo Disc DLC expansion. I still have to complete the Pokedex. I have about 80 Pokemon I have to get. So that's going to be one more stream to finish that. I think we have one more stream to finish this. Um, but I won't be done with WWE 2K24 once I finish this. Because I'm going to have the Twitch exclusive uh, showcase mode streams for WrestleMania. I, I especially want to get that done before WrestleMania 40. Um, and um, we got Mortal Kombat uh, tomorrow. I don't know what's going to go on Saturday. I might not stream on Saturday. It might take Saturday off. I don't know yet. Sunday is episode 87 of Less Than Serious. Uh, next Monday, I don't know what's going to go on because uh, my lady friend, Sosie, is on spring break. She is staying, I think, somewhere with a few friends, I guess. Um, so I'm probably not going to hear much from her. She does have her Xbox with her, though, but uh, she might be too busy to play. So uh, we're going to play that by ear come uh, Monday. So... Uh, yeah, it is what it is. But uh, anyways, guys, I'm going to get out of here. Have a good night. Thanks for watching. Until next time, my name is The Rose. I'll catch your ass down the road.